Hey guys, Asif here at 3D Crypto. Hope everyone's doing well. And guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk again about Bankroll. Um, it is my number one platform that I'm using for any type of crypto now that it has kind of branched into some more blockchains. Um, it was predominantly based on Tron and exclusively on Tron first, but we are now in the age of Ethereum on the Bankroll network. So guys, um, I talk about Bankroll quite a bit because uh, to be honest, it is the only platform that I can think of that has produced results consistently and not over a short time period like, for example, is talking weeks or months, I'm talking years. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know about the original bankroll, which um, was released probably just over 18 months ago. And the bankroll daily, the original, was um, was remarkable because it produced results and everyone in there returned on their, um, the amount of um, crypto they put in there. So that game was a very successful game and it's been built on that and every single game kind of evolves and then now we're at a stage now where the games have been fine tuned. So now we can branch out different blockchains and benefit in kind, but on those blockchains. So guys, um, this is the bankroll interface by now. I think everyone is very familiar. If you're watching one of my videos, you're very familiar with this interface. If you haven't watched my videos before, you've probably heard the name bankroll or banker token or something along those lines, credit daily plus. And you might think, oh, what is this? Well, basically, bankroll is an ecosystem. It is not just one game. It is many games, um, many parts of the same machine. And they all work together to flow crypto and grow crypto. So um, the games are designed in such a way that you can either hold, um, you can either grow, or in theory, you can even get everything and do it together. So you can hold and grow at the same time. I know it sounds strange that you can hold your cryptocurrency and with no risk, you can grow it. But Bankroll lets you do that. So if we just take a quick look at the statistics, we are holding steady at just under 19,000 unique players um, and our network assets are um, just above $4 million. Obviously that fluctuates quite a bit depending on the price of Tron and Ethereum, but we're holding steady at $4 million. So if we have a nice green day for crypto and ETH and Tron are up, then that number can easily shoot above $4.5 million, touching $5 million. But Right, so that's all the statistics for Bankroll. Um, and guys, the newest addition to the Bankroll platform and the Bankroll machine was Life. Life is basically the safest and highest APR for ETH on the planet. Um, so Life is the credits equivalent, but on the Ethereum blockchain. And if I quickly head on over to Life and show you, everyone's already seen um, how these contracts work. It's almost like an hourglass contract where you get 10% um, in, 10% out. But the good thing about Life is you don't get dividends depending on when people buy in or buy out. You've got a daily drip, which gives you Ethereum dividends. And then you've got a daily drip, which gives you VLT dividends. So you're not getting only one kind of dividends, you're getting two type of dividends, which for the compounding factor is very, very good. Um, so that's life briefly. What I really want to talk to you about is VLT. So VLT um, is the token equivalent of the banker token on the Ethereum blockchain. And what you can do with the VLT token, there's a few things you can do with it. You can trade it, you can stake it and once you stake it you get dividends back so obviously down here i've got 180 volt or well, it's been transformed into stack because again the volt is 10 percent in 10 percent out so volt transforms into stack but the dividends you get are in volt so that's my five volt down there now you're thinking you've got this volt what can you do with it before it was simply buy and sell on a uniswap exchange the big news coming out now is stacks Stex.com is a platform for um, exchanging uh, crypto or trading crypto. And the big news is that just a few days ago, um, Stex has taken on board VLT as a tradable token with the biggest cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. So that's big news. Um, it gets more eyes on the token and it makes the token a usable token where you can go ahead and trade that token. So whether it be Bitcoin versus Ethereum, Ethereum versus Tron, 
uh, Bitcoin versus U US dollar tether. So the pair we're looking for is VLT and BTC. And this is that pair. So guys, if you look, obviously the chart doesn't show much because this is still very new on the Stacks exchange. But if we look at the chart on the, let's have a look at the one day chart. So if I go to the one day chart, so the one day chart, you can see the price started up very high and then kind of dropped down again. And now we're, it's going to take a few days for the trading to kind of settle down. But there's some good sell orders. You've got 2000 volt on sell orders. Um, and if you look at the market depth, so at the moment, a lot of people are, it's that the, the buying and the selling hasn't equaled out, but obviously that takes a bit of time and that will do so. If I look at the orders, so if you look at the, that's the whole Stacks order book, but I'm looking predominantly at the Vault order book. Um, so you got, yeah, so people selling 21 volt, uh, 45, 30, 100 volt, 100 volt, and it's all for Bitcoin. So that is the new way to go ahead and trade the VLT token because the VLT token not only does it benefit you while you are holding it, the dividends, for example, your strategy might be different. So some people might have a very big stack of vault, and then what they do is they will just get the dividends, put it on the exchanges, and earn. Bitcoin that way. What you can do is the other way. So you can go ahead and pick up some very, very cheap vault at the moment. Cheap vault, basically, we are just under 43 cents per vault. Um, so that was the max price. But you can go ahead and pick up some very, very, very cheap vault and put it into stack and make it work. So rather than having that Bitcoin sitting in a wallet, not doing a lot, stagnant, and you are at the perils of uh, fluctuations of Bitcoin price, what you go ahead and do is you get that Bitcoin, you turn it into Vault or VLT token, you get the Vault and you put it into the stack. Once in the stack, you are gonna be getting a daily return, a daily return of that stack in VLT tokens. And what do you do with those VLT tokens? You can go right back in and trade it for Bitcoin or you can leave it in stack and compound you roll when you roll these five divs turn into stack and your stack holdings increase so that's the best way to benefit from vlt and stack now guys you might be asking why is this such a big deal being listed on an exchange like sticks well guys it is very simple the more exchanges you're on the higher the chance that you can get noticed and what you ultimately want to do is head on over to coin market cap and get listed on coin market cap. So more exchanges you're on, the better it is. So tokens like Banker and VLT. So um, if we get on more exchanges, we will be more visible. Once we're more visible, then obviously we can get listed on coin market cap. We get on more exchanges, potentially go on things like coin um, Binance, and then once on Binance, that's when it it all kicks on because there's more people looking at this token. What you really need to understand is there is only 1.8 million volt total circulation. And if you can pick up a lot of volt cheaply, then when price does increase, the, the kind of returns you are getting on your, um, on your stack is gonna be, it's gonna be like, you can like double it, triple it, 10X it, because stack all if, if you have a large number of vault or stack, all it takes is a small movement in the vault pricing is BTC. And you can it, the, the magnitude of the, the change can be minor. It could be a couple of cents. But then on the grand scheme, when you've got a lot of this token, it adds up. And then the returns you get are, are a lot. Then you have the option, you can trade. You can compound again or just hold it and wait for even higher highs. So guys, that is the importance of stacks and the importance of being listed on an exchange. Um, you can still go ahead and buy Vault through the Uniswap. 
Uniswap is basically um, you are buying from liquidity providers and liquidity providers get a little fee on the buys and the sells. So that's still a very good way of going and picking up some cheap vault because sometimes the vault price on Uniswap might even be lower than what you have on um, on the exchange. And then obviously with Uniswap, you're not limited to just Bitcoin. Uh, there's quite a lot of different cryptos you can go. You can go with Ethereum and then there's, there's such a multitude of um, ERC20 tokens that you can chain with. So it could be DAI. Um, so you look into it and then see which way you prefer. But if you are coming through the Bitcoin Avenue, then I would 100% recommend going through Sticks. And that is the, the way to go. Um, so guys, that is Bankroll uh, Vault for the time being. Um, I will keep you updated. I will let you know how I'm getting on and how the platform in general is performing. But um, if you're not in Stack already, if you're not in Live, guys, now is the perfect time. I would implore everyone to get into Live through the Ethereum blockchain. Um, really because it's because you're getting dividends from both sides. You're getting dividends from... Um, uh, Ethereum and dividends from Vault and those Vault dividends you can kind of put them into stack So it, it's a machine a well-oiled machine that works together. So guys that is bankroll um, If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do go ahead and press the red subscribe button and once subscribed Please leave a like um, a comment on the video. It matters so much these likes and comments um, Why it matters so much is the visibility these videos the more visible they are the more people that can see these videos and see what bankroll is, more chance they can get in and grow the community. And that's the main thing. Grow the community, get the community as big as possible because we are literally sitting in a co-op. And the more people that are invested in this co-op, everyone benefits. So guys, that is bankroll. Any questions or comments, please do leave them down below. I'll be happy to hear from you guys. If you're not already in bankroll, all the links are down below. If you've got any questions or comments, please head on over to the Telegram chat for Bankroll. Someone will be there to help you out. So guys, that is Bankroll. And um, until my next video, guys, please do take care.